Yo, what's up? It's so good to see you as always. So this is it. This is the live improv setup. We're going to run through the set today. Just kind of jam and see where it takes us, see where it goes. I'm sure I'm going to do a couple hiccups here and there, but I'll show you how to overcome them and kind of what to do whenever those things happen. I'll talk you through my mind process of where I'm at and where I'm going. Either way, let's get into it. Cool. We got the chords. Of course, these chords are in here. This is in G and I know I'm already here in G. Boom, throw a kick in there. How are we doing on our levels? Not too bad. All right, let's uh, let's rock it. Now I'm gonna turn down track two, or drum two, I should say. Put our claps in there, slowly bring them in. Same thing with drum three, turn that all the way down. Um, that should be good. Take our kick out, dramatic effect. Bring it back in. Now, some reverb. All right, we'll clear some of these out. I don't know what they are. I'm afraid to go to them. I think I know what this one is. This might just be filter for this. And then this might just be a big buildup. It is. All right, so MIDI one is going to the Avalon. Now I gotta be cognizant of where the one is, right? Because I'm playing with four bar loops. And if I mess up and I bring something in on say the third bar, it's gonna screw me up later on when I go to do any kind of transitions, right? Now, drum three is this. I can select a step and choose a new quiet sound, like a closed hat, and this is all gonna live on drum three. So we can do. Like that. Velocity, give it some more movement. How about I put one of these here? Some swing. That's cool. Take the kick out. Now, we got some synthesizers here. I'm gonna go to our preset page, go up to the top and down one. I know that these are some strings. And they're really quiet. Go ahead and turn that up. All right, I know to not hit that note. It's kinda cool. Now, pattern settings, slow down for me. I can get this. That's fine. Now we got our side chain here for drum one. Synth two is a little loud for my take. I'll just really squash it behind the uh, kick. Let's work into a transition, right? Let's see where we got. Oh, I should have set a timer. Set a timer for 15 minutes. All right, so transitions. This is the hard part, right? We got to figure out where we want to take this and what we want to reduce this down to in order to transition. My first take is to get rid of the chords. I'm going to lower synth to and bring it back in just to give us another element to kind of hang our hat on right bring it up all right
Now I can lower the volume of that. All right, now we gotta choose a new one. Let's just do, sure. That's the one, this is in F sharp. I'm guessing major, because there's no M after that. So scales, that's gonna be here, right? D, E, F, sharp. Now this is the kind of cheesy part. I'm not fully sold on this. Listen to this. Key changes, they work. And this is already playing. I got the trigger going here on the first page for bar loop. Go back to drum one, clear all these out. And then start bringing this in. See, the sooner I can bring those chords in, the better it feels, the more it works. Now, synth one, I know if I go to our presets all the way to the top, that's a sound there. Now drum four. I know I have some percussion stuff down here. Wish me luck. All right, there's a crazy delay on that. Let's shorten it up. Or let's get crazy with it, right? Let's bring it open. Nice. Now let's get some vocals in here. We'll uh, load whatever this Janet Jackson one is. I'll put a trigger here. Oh, bring the volume down. Holy cow, it'd have been bad. Now I put a trigger on one everything here. In our AED, I want to go in and pick a new spot where it's just gonna play from. That's fine, whatever this is. How's our amp page? That's not bad, our hold's a little low, but let's see if we can bring this in and what it sounds like. Um, open this up a little bit. Yeah. Now what happens if I open up the hold and I'm gonna, watch this. Yo, would you catch that? That was dope. We can actually add this to a scene. So we'll go to 13 and I'll say, when I'm at 13, open this up to, let's open it up to infinite. Sure, why not? Ah, I love that, that weird, trippy one bar over and over again. Now we can make this even more dramatic. Watch, when I go to B, I'll go to track one, which is the circuit tracks in our amp page. I'll say, turn the volume off. And you know what, while we're here, send it to the dark reverb. So it just grabs that last little sound in there. Ah, I could let this one ride out. Now, if I wanted to be fancy, I can go and try to silently add these in, or I can add them in track four, which if I go to the top, my hats are here. I like that one right there. So watch this. We're trying to do this quick. Lower this. Bring 
back in slowly. Take the kick out, because there's all that reverb. Okay, way too loud, but velocity. That kind of works, right? We can even clear some of these out. We'll do a... That works. Now you want this to be even weirder. Check this out. Just to mask what we're doing here, we're gonna go Take out drum four and bring in the synth line again and bring it back. Boom, listen to that. Psh, couldn't have done that better myself. All right, track uh, scene 13, which is the open up the infinite on the vocals. We're gonna copy that, go to scene 12, paste it here. Now, on top of this opening up that, which is the amp envelope to let it go. We're also gonna say, change the start point and let's see what this does I don't know what it's gonna sound like <laughs> I mean come on too tight right and what's crazy is because that start point doesn't get affected until the sound is triggered I can just kind of play it Ah. And if I really like this bass line, which I do, check this out. I'm gonna go to track six. I have this set up to record track two in pattern length or one bar mode. So watch this. We'll just grab one bar. We'll make sure our filters are all open. Make sure that track is muted. And it's gonna grab four bars but I have the record quantized to just 16. So I can go and put a trigger here, 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 and here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think I can mute this and bring that in a little loud. But now I can go into track MIDI one, which is the Avalon, turn it off, unmute it, now I can go and play something else. Oy, yay, yay, yay. Now track six. Bring the set back in. Now let's lower the resonance on this so it's not so squelchy. No tracking, open this up. And we'll take out the main part of this. So we're gonna go back into this. Switch it over to Pulse With. The best with. Play it off. There it is, new transition. This is still going nuts. If I go down, I want to see what notes are being played, but you know what, just to be safe, I'm going to clear these out.
All right. Mute track four. Vocals are out. Now we need to transition again. Let's try to not do the scale change because that was a little cheesy, right? So we need to disintegrate and break this down even further in a different way this time. So track six, which was the other bass line was going. This is still here. What I'm gonna do now instead is slowly fade this out. And we're just gonna rely heavily on two things happening, which is gonna be the boop bit and then the chords. Now I need to get ready for this, so we're gonna try and find another chord or a chord setup. I still know my one, two, dun, dun, dun. So this is in A sharp. I need to get ready for that. It's gonna be here. I don't know if it's A sharp minor or A sharp major, but here, let's try this. Oh, yo, that worked way better than I thought it was going to. Bring in one kick. That's kind of fun. And here's another fun tip to make sure you're always on the one. These are now off in patterns. If I hold down shift, and launch this again, the same pattern, it'll re-align uh, the clocks to be right on. Track three is that hi-hat. Let's choose a new sound, lower the decay. And get our MIDI going. Yo, this actually works. I forgot that this pattern was here, but this works. really want a chorus on here. Oh. Yes, we're gonna build up another thing here. Go here, turn that up, turn this down. this over and then open it up pitch it down distortion oh acapella time acapella time we'll find another one we'll go to uh this one here. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got time, we got time, we got time. All right, this is loading. Press pause. But it's all right. <laughs> Wrong button, but it's all right. <sighs> Everyone's losing their mind at this point, right? Because they're waiting for it. Oh man, I would mess it up. I got too amped up. All right, keep your cool, keep your cool. Let's find another dope spot for our start point. I don't know what she's saying right there, but that looks kind of cool. All right, make sure our volume's down on that. Unmute that. Amp page is still set to really short, and I'm okay with that, so. And let's open up the hold slowly. Up too far. Actually, ah.
Ah. Yo, I appreciate you, my friends, for sticking through. Hopefully this made sense. Hopefully I said enough while playing. If not, let me know down below. And on top of that, if you have any tips for me whatsoever, please let me know down below. I'll let your boy. One time for your mind. Ah, that chorus. Too good. And I can grab this too, if I really wanted. There it is. Now I can loop this and go crazy. Should I? I'll do it real quick. All right, that's in there. I need to win it. We're gonna go and clear this step, clear this step, clear this step. Now let's build it up. We'll go here and I'll say 10 steps. Ah, bring it in. And then uh, filter it up. Octave up. Ah, chorus down. Octave up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nasty. Tame it down, tame it down, tame it down. Ah, ah, in a groove, in it. Now, I think it was 12, which is where it was changed up. All right, we need to clear that. Mm. Share the love, share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace. Ah.